Hi, my name is Justine, creator and founder of the Art Psychology Program. I help professionals who want to introduce art into their practice or therapy, men and women who want to find an alternative therapy to deal with emotional challenges, and parents who want to learn how to ensure they are supporting their children's emotional development. This supports you to not feel in a therapy session, build confidence, self-esteem and lifelong learning without thinking you need years of therapy to balance your emotions. Have you ever imagined what it would feel like to know how to remain balanced emotionally and know how to create the outcome you want emotionally by using art? I'm going to expose the seven biggest mistakes and assumptions I see people make when they hear that you can combine therapies and art together. Number one, that you have to be and feel in a therapy session to work through your emotions. Number two, that art relaxes you and is only about self-expression. Number three, that you don't have to learn the fundamental techniques to introduce art into your practice. Number four, that you can only assess a person's emotions using art. Number five, that you don't need to invest as much training skills with art as you do in your therapy training. Number six, when you fix your childhood emotions, you never revisit them or it's too painful. And number seven, whatever your preferred style of therapy you choose, this cannot be used with other therapy styles. When I grew up in South Africa, I felt I couldn't understand school and life. I couldn't speak openly how I felt. I never felt understood. I stressed and panicked to please adults, and I was frustrated with the school routine especially because I had to work so hard to pass my grades. I started doing art classes at my mother's art college, learning specific techniques, how to draw in proportion, and understand how to get a successful end result by following simple guidelines. I was shown not how to just put a project in front of me and just draw it. I was shown why and easily given techniques to be able to achieve this. I landed up using the techniques to work out how to achieve these end results successfully in my art. This without me realizing subconsciously filtered into my everyday thinking and changed how I approached situations I felt were stressful and I hadn't even gone for any therapy. The art would trigger what I was feeling emotionally but wasn't willing to say aloud. When I did attend certain therapies, the problem was when my emotions were triggered, talking about it didn't help me because I needed techniques to work through to understand my emotions and feel like I was taking control and responsibility for my emotions. I learned to use the triggers in the artwork and rely on myself, trusting that I am capable to change my situations using art techniques and specific skills in an art class room. In our free introduction day one workshop, you will be learning what is art psychology, how it is different to other therapies, what the teacher does in a classroom setting or one-to-one, -one, and how art is used to play a huge role in balancing your emotions, brain development, both as a child and adult. Our tried and tested techniques over 13 years have proven to enable successful change for people in a comfortable teaching environment without the assumption some people find attached to a therapy session. All you need to do is email our college for a booking form at www.theartscollege.com for the dates and more information. I look forward to connecting with you and helping you learn more about art psychology. Take care for now.